I'm Deborah Bowen. I'm Virginia Lambula. And we are in uh, we are in charge of the legal department here at Translation Time and Production. Hi, I'm Marcus Pearson. I'm financial manager and I'm in charge of startup costs and time for Translation Time. I'm Andrew Burke. I'm the founder and CEO of Translation Time. Uh, what we have is a service that provides real-time translation with a real person. Uh, with our product, you install our app and then you can talk to anyone uh, through your mobile device with a real translator. Uh, because you're interacting with a real translator, it's faster, friendlier, and more accurate. Uh, you won't have to wait with the delay. Our rep is with you live on your device, seeing and hearing what you do. And now I'll take it to our finance marketing. Okay, what we came up with when we did our research for the cost and target market, um, for our 30 second, um, commercial on the travel channel and by the channel it is uh, $5,000 and also $4,000 for a four week run at airports, uh, five different airports of your choice. So they could go ahead and uh, do our advertising at those locations. Um, our research also showed that many travelers do have a demand for it, corporate travelers and also just leisure travelers that are traveling abroad. There is actually no other product that actually handles real time with video translation services. And we have um, a small commercial clip that will give an example of what it would actually be. That's to, that's for any tools or uh, you know cables, servers, things like that, just to make the app available. Now next we're going to have to host the app, and at two dollars and seventy-two cents an hour, that comes to about twenty-five thousand dollars, roughly twenty-five thousand a year. Now with that fifty thousand. Plus the eighty thousand dollars that's going to come from the marketing. It's going to put us at one thirty, and now we're going to ask for an addition. We're going to need an additional two hundred thousand dollars to actually pay the employees that we have for the uh, for the app. Now, normally it's just going to be a, a small network administrator and, and his team, you know, that are going to just ensure that the app stays online. If any 
any problems occur, they're going to be there to fix it at any time. Because if the app goes down, we're not making money. So that's going to be a projected cost of about $200,000 a year for the first year. Now, of that $330,000, we plan to invest $130,000 of our own money leaving us with uh, 200000 that we're asking from investors in exchange for 5% of our company. Now, as far as the profits and what you stand to make off the first year of service, we're only going to be targeting Americans, American tourists in the first year, just kind of a startup. And what I did was I went online and I did some research and I found out how many American citizens traveled abroad last year. Now that number came out to roughly 24 million people who traveled overseas. This is, this is not even including Canada and Mexico, this is overseas. So of those 24 million, let's say a quarter of those people download our app, they use it, they love it, and that comes to about, what, 6 million. Now, of those six million people, if each person talks on the phone for one minute at two dollars a minute, which is our rate, that's going to come to twelve million dollars. Now, that's just for six million people to talk on the phone for one minute. Now, realistically, you can't have a conversation with anybody for one minute. So, let's just say each person averages about five minutes on the phone. It's going to times that by five, and it's going to come to 60, 60 million in profit the first year. And of that 60 million, the 5% that we're offering will bring your total to 3 million. So once again, we're, we're asking for an investment of $200,000 in exchange for 5% of the company, and 3 million is what you stand to make, projected, you know, estimated, the first year of course. Any questions? <laughs> so you're saying what percentage of the 24 million are you planning to, to? We want to offer you, we want to offer our investors 5% five, 5 of our company. Not how much you're willing to offer, we'll get there. The 24, Million people that travel abroad. What right. percentage did you say you a would get? A quarter. Get? So you think you can get 25%, 33% of the people who travel abroad to take this product on? Why not? I have a question. So out of that 24 million, those are all from the five languages that you're. No, these 24 million, these are just the American tourists that travel overseas. Well, they're going to the countries that you're offering right. those languages. Okay. Well, yeah. I think one of the things you have to consider is that anytime you do an app, you're automatically a global company. So you can't say it's U.S. only. You don't have that option. It's not easy. It denies access or perceived access to others if you inadvertently state something like that. Because you're going to get people from foreign countries to say, well, hey, this is a great thing. Maybe you can help me with well, that's, that's what I heard from you. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, I, maybe, I'm, I, maybe if I rephrase it a little bit. Basically, this... The startup cost, it relates only to US, to the U.S. So when we start, this is what we're going to be working with as far as with our U.S. customer base. So with the $200,000 for the employee costs, how many employees are you planning to, to employ and at what dollar rate? Well, this is just an estimate um, for the network administrator and his team. Like, if it comes to more or less, I'm, I'm sure we can probably work with that, but... How many people are on the team? Realistically, we can pull this off with two to three techs. You'd be pretty lucky to pull off two to three techs. If they're good techs, good app developers, they command that kind of salary with one person. So how do you adjust for not keeping or retaining talent during the development phase? Well, we want to get the young guys. We, we don't want to get the, you know, as much 
because the experience is going to cost more money. And, I mean, for a beginner coming into the field, if we could possibly get them to do something like that. So what if I were to say that if you...